Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Aarti from AWS, and joining me in New York today is Jason from Gray Meadow. Thank you, Jason, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. One event that I was super excited to watch this year was the Royal Wedding. I know Gray Meta had helped Sky News live broadcast it, but before we dive into the architectural details of how that was done, why don't you tell us what Gray Meta does? So at Gray Meta, what we do is we help enrich clients' assets uh, using services like Recognition or Amazon Transcribe to generate uh, speech-to-text transcripts and things of that nature. Great. So let's start with the architecture. I see Elemental right at the top there. Is that where the feed comes from? Can you walk us through this architecture? Sure. So you can imagine at the chapel at Windsor, you have some cameras filming guests as they're arriving at the royal wedding. Uh, ultimately, that feed is going into a satellite truck, which is then being uploaded into the cloud and, and hitting Amazon Elemental. Uh, coming out of Elemental, we have some MPEG-2 uh, transport stream chunks that are landing in S3. Uh, triggering a message through SNS and SQS, and ultimately landing on an EC2 instance where we're doing uh, video ingestion. Uh, that ingest server is taking the video, uh, splitting it into frames, and then using uh, Amazon recognition to identify um, faces in each of the frames from our pre-trained set of who we thought was going to be at the wedding. Okay, so before we get into the secret sauce of the recognition here, how much data are we talking about in that S3 bucket? Uh, so we ran on the day of the event, there were, it was approximately 90 minutes of video um, split into approximately 10 second chunks. So there were a couple thousand files in there. And what kind of frames are, uh, get ingested into this EC2 instance? Sure, so that video ingest server is uh, taking each video and, and extracting frames approximately every 200 milliseconds uh, and taking those frames and then running them in parallel through recognition. And is this a single EC2 instance? I hope not. <laughs> no, we had uh, multiple instances, one in each availability zone uh, in the uh, Ireland um, uh, region. Uh, and the reason we picked Ireland was it was the uh, closest geographic, geographic region that supported recognition. OK. And it's always good to have like HA for these EC2 instances. So oftentimes we talk to enterprise customers and the first thing we tell them is like, make sure you're spread across all the availability zones. So it's good you guys had that covered. So what happens? Let's now dive into like the secret sauce of how are you doing it? Sure. So, so the, after identifying the faces uh, using recognition, um, this instance was uh, publishing a metadata record into S3, as well as uh, a message to a work queue that was ultimately being um, worked on from this EC2 instance powering a, a user interface that we actually had human moderators working from. So uh, the worst thing in the world would have been for us to misname somebody on the video feed. So uh, recognition is great, but it's not 100% accurate. So all of our results were moderated by humans. So uh, for each video clip, we popped up a screen giving the moderators an opportunity to approve, uh, reject, or rename uh, who recognition thought it was. And do you guys have a collection of faces that was already like pre-populated with recognition? Yeah, so uh, based on other recent royal events, uh, Sky and Gray Meta um, built a, a list of approximately 800 folks that we anticipated being at the wedding. Wow. And then we collected a lot of, uh, of publicly available images and uploaded those into a face collection in recognition. And how many moderators were there at for this particular, like, identifying the faces? On the day of the event, we had uh, five people working the queue, and then we had an additional uh, handful of folks that we, we called spotters, helping to identify people as they were coming up in the video feed. So once that identification is processed, I see S3 and RDS here. How is yes. this pushed over? Yes, so the results were fed back uh, from the moderators to the instance. Uh, we were publishing a record into a results S3 bucket. Uh, and those results were ultimately ending up being distributed to our end users uh, via CloudFront. And the reason we fronted that with CloudFront was because we had a, a million people hitting this feed live. Um, the other thing being fronted by CloudFront, uh, coming out of Elemental, we had a second video stream. And this video stream was on a two minute delay. And the reason we had to put it on a two minute delay was to give us an opportunity to get everything through this flow uh, and then marry the results up to the feed uh, seamlessly for the end user. Two minutes is a good time. I was watching the live feed as well. So that's awesome. Two questions for you. Uh, what was the total number of users that were watching the live stream, including me. <laughs> With you, it was a million and one. Wow. My other question is, why not use recognition video? 
Uh, so in the first iteration of this architecture, we attempted to use recognition video. And what we found is that it was taking about 15 to 18 seconds to process our video clips. And then we had to go back and still extract the keyframes that recognition video were providing in the results from the video set. Ultimately, that cut too much into our two minute time budget. So instead, we split the video into the individual frames and ran all of those through recognition in parallel. And we were able to process the entire video in approximately eight seconds. That makes perfect sense of why you went with recognition instead of recognition video. This is an exciting architecture of how customers could use recognition for a live stream event, and the two minutes is amazing. Thank you for joining us today, Jason. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.